Okay, Peter, what you got? What you got, Peku? It appears. Peko Pekuyama, which I still refuse to be a real name. Even though I know a guy whose name is legally Muhammad Muhammad Muhammad. All three of his names are Muhammad. So it's possible, I just refuse. Yeah, I've talked to everyone, but nobody has seen Nagato. However. However. The soda and Nakam okay, I, I'm not gonna attempt. Soda and Nakamaru seem uncomfortable discussing it. What are they hiding? Hey. He just occurred to me, but have you seen Nagato anywhere? No, I haven't seen him. Mm. I see. Jeez. This goes for Firohiko too, but you boys should really get a hold of yourselves. Jeez! Man, what the heck? I wanted to play with my hero in the bath some more. Yeah, so did I. So would I. Hey, after we finish exploring these ruins, let's invite Miss Sonya and... Oh, you thirsty bitch. All right. I mean, it's my bad. Everyone's invited, right? Right? Seriously, this guy, he's so carefree. He's so thirsty is what he is. Hey, bastard. Uh, Tetra can't come all this way. Okay, yeah, okay. Hey, Gundam. Let me tell you this. New land has opened, however. It does not mean we will find salvation there. <laughs> Brief is all that awaits us, but... <laughs> Well, that would be quite entertaining. So he's saying he didn't find anything useful on this island, is that it? I see. I like how it's a game with Gundam of like try to figure out what the fuck he's saying. Coach Nakamoto sure is strong. I'm starting to get pumped up! I'm definitely gonna win before I get out of here. She could at least make an effort to help us find a way out of here. Huh? I did not find anything at the beach that could help us escape. I hope we find stuff in here. Um. I tried looking around the library, but I could not find a way to escape. Yeah. However, I was able to read the newest issue of an occult magazine. It was quite the discovery. Of course you'd be happy about that. Mm. Ah, I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing so suddenly? <laughs> I was so excited about the drugstore, I completely forgot to find a way off this island. It's not like she was only thinking about giving people shots. Possibly. Then... Do you want any clues at the drugstore? <laughs> well, there was lots of medicine, lots of syringes, and needles, so shots then. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright, Meekin. <laughs> Chuck goes investigating this place really thoroughly. Is she a Romans enthusiast? I don't know, probably. That was not what I intended. Hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is straight up the gate. Oh, it's ancient ruins with a strange ambience to it. So, okay, this is well, this is straight up. This is straight up hoax peak. Hey, Jackie, what did you find? If it's not a way off this island, does that something to do with this island secret? Mm. Mm, about that, I don't know. Hey. What do you mean you don't know? Mm. It's like it doesn't belong with a building like this. I keep thinking about it, and it feels unnatural. Mm. It's like a comic book originally about a baseball becoming a side scoring action game. Is that a reference to a thing I should know about? It's unnatural like that. It's a little hard to understand. See? Look, there's a door over there. Door? It's hard to make it out from all the dust, but that's the door you mean, right? That's right. Yeah, it looks like a door. It looks like. That's the door to the ruin. Hey. So what's wrong with this door? Can you go inside? Um. Before we attempt to go inside, let's try brushing some of this dust and clearing some of these root things off the door. If you do that, I'm pretty sure you understand what I mean by unnatural. For now. I don't understand, but I guess we should try what she says. Yeah, you're right. This is Jackie said. We brush off the dust and cleared the roots that were stuck to the door, and then. What is this door? Doesn't feel like it belongs to an ancient ruin. What's going on? It's like a door from a sci-fi movie. Don't you think? It definitely doesn't fit an ancient ruin. And what's the symbol on the door? Oh. It looks like it's Japanese. Oh. Oh, you're totally right. I'm sorry if it's just my misunderstanding. But to me, it looks like it says Mirai or Future. Future? Hey, kill that symbol on the door. More importantly, how do we open it? What's inside? Hey. So Mirai is the is the Japanese word for future. Okay. Yeah, it looks like there's a 
liquid crystal display next to the door. Uh, okay, let's see if we're related. All right, there must be a key to open the door. It's probably set to open. We type in the password. Yes, yes. I don't know why I might. So what's next? It's obviously impossible to put the password in without any hints. <laughs> and are you saying a normal person can't open it, but Yakuza can? That's hilarious. Shut up. If we just type whatever, we might get it right. Hold it. No, I think we should wait. Doesn't it seem dangerous? Because there's a gun next to it. I think it's a panel. Doesn't it look like a gun? In fact, that's totally a gun. Gun? Oh, that's a gun? If it is, it's probably very dangerous. It's possible you might get shot if you mess up the password, right? Damn it. It can't be helped. Looks like it's better if we don't mess with it for now. He's totally freaked out. You do it then. Mm. But still, a building that looks like an ancient ruin with a door that looks like it's from a sci-fi film. That's definitely natural. This is probably an important place. Hmm. Important place, huh? The problem is, how is it important? Um. Hmm. You're both quiet. I'll pick you, up. you guys know about the building too, right? Be honest with us. I'm sorry. No, I have no... I have no idea at all. Why are you here? Like, I'm, you're keeping secrets. So why bother? Like you, keep, like, you keep presenting yourself in situations where you actively know you can't ask answer questions. So don't show up. Or don't leave quit. Don't... I don't know. Okay. Okay. I don't know either. For now, everyone should focus on gathering the hope fragments. I won't be fooled. Hey, there's no way you guys don't know. Don't just show up and tell us some lousy lines. Um, you guys are probably the ones who covered that door with dust, right? Um, uh, just as I thought. You guys are hiding it on purpose, right? Hey. This, this bitch. This bitch needs to go next. Oh, my God. Oh, she just did. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she just did. She just did. Okay. Is it possible that there's a connection between this door and the reason the island is uninhabited? For example, this place might be a shelter, and there must there might be natives inside. Hey. Is something happening that would make them hide in a shelter? If so, we're all screwed. You're getting all riled up. Hmm. Several possibilities crossed my mind. Hmm. But it looks like there's no way to confirm it yet. The door is really sturdy. Just get Nagato. It's like, hey Nagato. By the way, can you do us a solid? Can you just type a password into this for us real quick? Lucky boy will get it. Lucky boy will get it because his power is bullshit. Huh? Oh, what are you saying? Hey. For um... instance, even though Monami and I can you know, come and go as we please, we can't enter what's beyond that door. Ooh, uh... huh? You can't go inside too? Does that mean you're the same as me and... We're only on chapter two. That's gonna continue. This this gimmick is gonna continue the entire game. There. Now that I've shot my sister with that fantastic Pegasus Meteor Fist. This is the mystery of Jabberwock Island. A mystery that even Monomy and I can't solve. <laughs> That's why I have high expectations for you guys. One day you'll be able to solve that mystery. <laughs> yeah, that seems easy enough. All you gotta do is remember what that black and white Tanuki said before. Why are there 16 of you? If a total of 15 students from Hoaxley Academy are ready to come to this island. I got it! That's right. There's probably a traitor. I don't even know about yeah, you know, even a traitor I don't know about home. Just kidding. I know. There's a traitor among us. That's what uh, ugly Tanuki said before. Fine, fine. Ah. Calling me ugly and a tanuki, these kind of tilly names that don't depress me in the slightest. Hello! He's totally depressed. If there's a traitor, they probably know how to open the door, right? And there's probably boats or a way to construct or to contact the outside world behind that door. Or maybe whoever's car and Monokuma and Monomi is hiding in there. But, but do you really think there's a traitor among us? 
No shit. Of course there is. Who the hell is it? Hurry up and confess. What? There isn't. There's no traitor anywhere. Hey, bastard. I'm looking more about you. You're the one who mentioned it. <laughs> you see. What's so funny? Hey, hey! Oh, just have you guys ever heard of the organization organization called World Enders? I have not. World Ender? I'm not asking a question. Don't change the subject. Come on! I understand why you why you'd want to just ignore it. World Ender is such an embarrassing name. So embarrassing that only a middle school students no, wait, elementary school students would come up with it. Yeah! But the name is unavoidable because the organization actually exists. So what, so what is this organization? <laughs> so this is what it says. I don't Those guys ended the world. It. Ended the world? Hey, um... That's not an overstatement or a metaphor, you know. Like they really did end the world. So don't you think it's appropriate to call them World Ender? So basically... You mean they're a terrorist organization? Hmm. Terrorists, huh? That might be accurate. But only losers are terrorists. If they manage to win, they become heroes. In that case, they're more like heroes. They're the heroes who ended the world. What's going on? Okay, so canonically, I assume this is set after the first game. All right. So what? Or during? I don't say things. That, no, don't say things that don't make sense. Don't tell me you're gonna say this organization is the one putting us through this all this crap. Why am I yawning? Why am I yawning so much? Jesus, this middle of the day. What's wrong with me? Man, well, Linda, are you saying that you and one of me are also members of the organization? Who knows? Who you knows? Anything I can tell you is the organization that the traitor is working for, the ones who brought you to this island. What? Well, Linda's behind it all. Are you kidding me? Why have we been targeted by? Uh, why have we been targeted by a horrifying organization like that? Eh, don't panic, it's just another made up story to trick us. Like when he said, we lost our memories. I can't suspend my disbelief for something as ridiculous as World Ender. There's no way that organization or a traitor exists. Stay back. Morikuma, I shall listen to your I shall listen to you spout nonsense all you want while I puff a cigar and smoke at your lifeless body. What does that even mean? I might. I was kind enough to keep you guys informed, and you're calling me a liar. What the heck? If you keep acting like that, I'll do this and that to your various body parts. Silence! Anyway, I'm telling you the truth. The World End Organization is the final boss of this island. Plus, one of their members is hiding among you guys. And that's why you guys gotta find that traitor and kill them dead. Hey! Hey, you better stop. I'm gonna Shut up, on me. You. Big brother finding trash like you needs to be punished. No, don't pull my ears, they're gonna come, come off! When Akuma and Monomi departed from the area, even the rest of us dazed and confused. What was that just now? What's going on? Is there anyone who understood what you were talking about? Um... Look okay. here! Seriously, why? <laughs> anyway, let me, let me get like an energy drink or something. I don't know where this yawning is coming from. Hey, yeah. anyway. Not a clue. <laughs> I like how as soon as I try to stop myself from yawning, this bitch starts yawning. But now, since the sun is setting, we should just go home for the day. I think it's a waste of time for us to keep thinking about this. You're yeah, probably right. Hey. But it's getting dark soon, so going home might be a better idea. Let's call it a day. After exploring the new island, help we've all un uncovered. Oh, more mysteries. As we lowered our heads and bemoaned, what the hell was bemoaned? And bemoaned that reality, uh, we began heading back to our cottages. Bemoaned is not a word I've ever heard before. Oh, okay. So there's five. There's five monokumas per island. Is that what we're doing? Wait, right, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There's five monokumas per. Per island, and then I guess there's the gold ones. There's gonna be the gold ones at the top, which are gonna be like the last monokumas. All right, 
Alright, game. Okay. I did tired from walking around all day. Jeez. I don't know what the hell is going on, but it's starting to make my head hurt. Ancient ruins, strange doors, traitors, and the world enders. I have no idea what's going on anymore. And I don't feel... Yeah, and I, yeah I don't even feel anxious about it. I guess I should sleep for now. With that, I leave my exhausted body onto the bed and close my eyes. I don't like this! Okay. Please look forward to the next Monokuma Theater! I promise nothing. I promise actively nothing. And make sure to give it our all today. I should go get some gifts from the uh, the mono machine. It seems my first are tired, but I'm hungry. I should go to the restaurant and eat something. Right, first off, first off. Hey, how, how you doing, buddy? Ah, oh, that's not good. Can I, can I quickly? No. Alright, fine. Also, how am I with, um... Things? You know what? That's as I expect. That's as I expect. Fair enough. I, I'll, I'll deal with that. I'll deal with that later. Hello, Gundam. Hi, Gundam. Stay back. Do not speak to me, human. What the heck? How pitiful. The wind is running amok today. It's carrying the lost souls of Yakia and Teru Teru. Are they destined to be cradled against the heavenly <laughs> mother's bosom, or to burn in the fires of Ganema? I don't know. I don't know. Ge Gehenna. That sounds familiar. I don't know. Gehenna, that sounds... I don't know. Perhaps you should pray for them, human child. It's possible that their prayer might save their souls. <laughs> no, I don't. I'll take my leave. That guy's the same as usual. Okay, but can I... Can I... I am not allowed to. Okay. Anyone out here? I saw Sonya. Neku, the books. Alright. Hello, princess. Uh, I feel such such nostalgia for Jap Japanese dishes my servants used to prepare. My servants must have been annoyed to be forced to cook stuff like that. However, an army marches with on its with, with its stomachs. I've never said that phrase. An, an army marches on its stomachs. But, all right. That being said, let us have breakfast. Good nom nom numbing. I forgot. I forgot she says that. I forgot she says that. Oh god, okay, lol so random. Alright. Uh, 
Do you know how many O's I use? No, but I had uh, 30. Let's say 30. Who knows? Oh dear. You're calling me and it gives me the shivers. But you should talk about it more, you know? Shoot me with your word arrows. <laughs> and it's better. And it's better because this is a game with word bullets. Alright. Okay. <laughs> There's probably going to be word arrows in the third game. Thinking about Byakuya made me feel really sad, so I'm trying super hard to stay upbeat. About Byakuya? I see. That's I right. See. It may have had pudgy or piggy fingers, but he was a really, he was really totally awesome. That sounds easy to keep, I promise, to the very end. But I think it's actually really, really hard. You're right, especially in this kind of situation. But to actually die like that. Aww. If only he didn't have piggy fingers, darn. That's so disappointing. Why would you be into him? Would you be into him if he wasn't fat? Because, oh, oh, you would not have, you have not have survived long if you went Danganronpa 1. Because Toko, because Toko and Jack would be like, nah, bitch. Nah, bitch. <laughs> now then, I'm off to the restaurant. Had you? She didn't have to say last bit. Good morning, Nakamaru. Okay. What was that? Hajime? Do you need to talk to me about something? What's wrong? What are you surprised about? <laughs> oh, no need to worry, I'll head to the restaurant first. More suspicious at all. Not anyone else, so is that? No, that's everybody. That's everybody. Okay, what about in here? Any any booty in here? A lot of booties in here. Okay. Now go and get your restaurant, my hero. Ah, oh, sorry, I was just thinking about territory. Why? What's going on? I think Monokuma said territory is not it was boring. Because it, it was boring. It was actively the most boring out of anything we've seen so far. But it wasn't boring at all. I mean, it's your mom. She's like, you must. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I get that. But comparatively to everything else that's been in this series so far, that is actively boring. Yeah, I agree. Of course, that doesn't mean I can excel what Terra Terra did either. But, but, but still, if my family. Hey. I'm sorry. There's nothing. Even though I think what Terra Terra did was stupid, I'd be bad if I allowed Monokuma to influence me too. Obviously. That's right. I'm never gonna follow Monokuma's orders. Okay, you do you. Yo. Yo, how'd you make? Yeah, good morning. <sighs> Man, I'm starving. <laughs> See, it's fine when you do it, because you don't sound fucking disgusting and creepy. I'm like, Hifumi when he does it. Let's hope to help me get some food. Mm. It's not that the restaurant has bad food, but compared to Terra Terra's food, it's pretty so-so. <laughs> Those party dishes. They were seriously so good. It was like I could eat as much as I wanted. Mm. I wanted to keep eating his food. I know. Yeah, uh, even like this isn't like me. I'm probably acting strange because I'm hungry. Oh, Alright, all I gotta do is eat. Hey, Chiaki. Hey. She's like a fucking robot. She needs to load her responses. Ah, oh, good morning. You're playing video games again this morning? Hmm. It's like whenever you find the time. You always come here, don't you, Chiaki? You think so? You think so? Hey. Yeah, I know you like video games, but if you don't go and get some sun, you'll get sick. I don't know about that. And, you know, it's important to get to know each other is better too. I don't know about that either. Mm. Yeah. Hey, hey. So let's play video games outside. I'm sure they have stuff like jump... Let's uh, play games. I, I don't know what. I completed it as video games. Let's play games outside like jump rope, bamboo cop... What the fuck is bamboo copter? Huh? Jump rope, bamboo copter. Mm. Are those games too? I don't get it. Come on. Yeah, and you can play with us after breakfast. Good deeds should be done quickly as they say. They say and I have to join in too. What's that time? If you don't want to come, you don't have to. Seriously, she's so bossy towards guys. Eh, mm. uh, Kyoko was more bossy, but alright. Jump rope, bamboo copter. <laughs> the world is still overflowing with strange things. Okay. You two, are you two not leaving? Mm. Obviously. Okay, no, you t okay, you two can stay here. Hmm. 
he came around. Yeah, he came at the right time. What do you think, Hajime? What do I think about what? <laughs> Isn't obvious. The stuff he said about the trio and World Ender. I'm asking if you know anything about it. After one night's sleep, there's no way I'll suddenly find any. I'll find out anything. What's going on? Well, that's obvious. The same goes for me too. I didn't get enough sleep last night because I was yeah, because of that baffling nonsense. But, but I wonder if it's really true. If there's a traitor among us. No. No need to worry. You don't have to worry about that traitor at all. <laughs> However, if by chance a worst case scenario, Impossible. even the worst case scenario, you don't have to worry about the traitor. That's weird. What do you mean? You've been awfully certain about it. Behold. Of course. In fact, the circle traitor is tied up at the moment and can't move at all. Tied up, you say? Ah, can you refer to Nagato, whom we have not seen since yesterday? Who oh, it's going to be? Nagato is a traitor. And ah, what about the other part? We said he was tied up and can't move. Hey, Soda, what should we do? Hey. Now, I wrote not me into this. Let's find out we work together too. Ah, ah crap. <laughs> you guys are both idiots. Yeah. Hey, wh what does that mean? I mean... Well, you know, there was no way we'd let him run around free. I mean, he tried to put us all in danger, you know. So he tried to commit murder because that guy tempted him, right? So that means, yeah, so that makes him a killer too. It, yeah, it's necessary to deal with him in an appropriate way. So that's why you left him tied up. However, that cannot be helped. He's quite dangerous. How should I put this? He's a little creepy. Uh, not that I want to badmouth him. He's not a little creepy. He's creepy to the max. He's creepy to so high you can sell tickets to see it. Good instinct. So, what's truly. <laughs> that's really a nice line. Every fiber of my being agrees with you. That's right. There is no existence more troublesome than that of a uncomprehensible human. Fall, my tears. What they like and what they hate. What makes them happy and what makes them angry. It's normal for all beings to have standards rooted in experience so they can predict their opponent's actions. But at times, those standards do not work on certain opponents. Those are the most fierce and opponents of all. Establishing a relationship with such a human is impossible. Hey. You should be careful. You're teetering on the edge yourself. And? Anyway, where did you, where did you two tie up Nagato? Uh. The dining hall. In the old building. Or the old hotel building. That's where Byakuya got killed. Mm. Needs to reflect on what he did at that place. <laughs> So you're saying it's better, it's better to kill off a troublesome ally before they turn to an enemy. <laughs> ah, you killed him! <laughs> ah, he's obviously alive. I only knocked him out so we could tie him up. Then. Then yeah, what should we do with Nagato at this point? Let's hear everyone's opinion. Hmm. It's not safe to let him walk around freely. There's no telling what he'll end up doing next. <laughs> he's, he's also the most likely person to be the traitor. <laughs> I love how she, she, she's just been eating this entire time. Alright. So, isn't it okay if we keep him tied up for a while? This chick, she's still eating a lot. I see. If I so, see. it seems it would be better to watch him for a while. But, it would be bad if we don't let him eat or drink. He might end up dying for real. Uh. I know that already. I didn't like, expect you two would do something like that. <laughs> I wish you tr at least you treat him more like an achievement. <laughs> and I thought that tiny boy was up to something again. Who are you calling Tiny Boy? Ah, oh. oh, you're here! Jeez! Hey Vickers, you guys are messed up. Okay. Is that what you guys do? If you don't like your body, you corner them? Ah, oh, lucky sheep acting all righteous. Huh? What do you say? You didn't do anything wrong? <laughs> I mean, technically you did, but okay. Oh, did the shitty sheep just <laughs> all bleat at me? What did you say? Looks like there's one more bastard who needs to get tied up. Bastard! Try it if you dare, bastard. Shut up! Shut up! You can threaten me, but I'm not scared. You. You're just a pipsqueak without the kids to Rio clan backing you up. What'd you say? What you, I mean, it's just true. Stop. Enough. Knock it off, you two. Why does he listen to Peku? Or why does he, like, like begrudgingly listen to Peku? Like, anyone else tells him something, he's like, ah, oh, fuck off. Peku says something, it's like, ah, fine. Alright. It's like a mum. It's like, oh, fine, mum. Uh. <laughs> That's what it's like. It's like, a, it's like a child who's just rebelling against his mum. Like, oh, fine. 
Didn't want to do it anyway, but okay. Alright, Mom. <laughs> okay. Your boss says I'll make sure you regret that later. <gasps> what the heck? He's just a whiny loser. Um. So, uh, let us just stop this already. Aww. Jeez, all this fighting. I can tell it's not going to be easy in the future. <laughs> a future, huh? I wonder if we even have a future. Hey, hey don't start mumbling like that. If you do, I'll get depressed too. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. And on top of the island's mysteries is now also Nagato and Firuhiku to deal with. Jeez, this is one thing after another. In that uncomfortable atmosphere, we finished our breakfast and we all left for our respective cottages. Free time? Time of the free? What should I do today? There's no way I can just stay here and do nothing. Ah, oh, yeah, time of the free. Time of the free. Yay. But, first off. First off, though. Okay, so we got Peku. I want to I wanna see. I want to talk to the dude, but I can't teleport. Let me, let me talk to the dude first. I was going to explore the, the second island and see if I can get any more Monokuma bears. But... Let's just see if I can talk to the dude first. Okay. Oh, okay, fair enough. Okay, so I'm gonna just double check for Monokuma bears. You now just live in the drugstore, don't you? Okay, so I got one there. There was none there. Probably at the ancient ruins, honestly. No, okay. Alright, well. I may as well spend my mono coins. Oh, I'll probably speed this up and I'll be right back. Yeah, that's good. That's a good amount. That's all good. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Where's Where's Drugstore Bay?
Uh, hello, drugstore bait. What's up? <laughs> Drugstores are amazing. Just look around. It gets me excited. All right, calm down. <laughs> calm down, love. Yes, I should hang out with Mikan. <laughs> yeah, just want me to give you a shot. Is that it? That's it, right? No, no, it's not. Not today, madam. I spend the day running away from Mikan. <laughs> While she chase me with a medical syringe. Looks like Mikan and I grew a little closer. I would indeed. What, what would Mikan like? Drug related stuff, I would assume. It's hand binding garment. Why? What makes it a queen? I don't, okay. Uh, spy shoes, streak of boots, safety half shoes. Alright. Silver ring, another hope. Of the original hope? What? Oh, the original hope diamond. And it was cut on the go, women's persist. And death follow. Okay, well, we're not giving her that. Okay, so there was them. There was, okay, there was more. Uh, okay. We might enjoy being bound up. Uh, that's probably an Abuki thing, let's be honest. Uh, oh, there we go, medical field. Okay, here, here you go, love. Here's medical stuff. Ah, oh, yeah. Yes. Ah, oh, yeah. The science seems different than usual. It's like she's staring into space. Hey, Mika, is something wrong? Ah, oh, hi, me. When did you? I've been talking to you for a while now. Um. Bitch, I, ju I just gave you a gift. I just gave you a gift, woman. Uh. Oh, I'm sorry for saying something so rude. You're mad, right? You normally get mad right now, right? No, there's no way I'd be mad about something like this. Is it? Is that normal? Why? Why isn't anyone pouring water on me or throwing mud at me? <laughs> Does everyone hate me? This is so fucked up. This is so f like the fact that like she's gotten to the point where if people abuse her, then they're at least showing like interest in her. So she's taking that as like if they abuse me, it's fine because they like me. What has she gone through? Is that why everyone isn't doing anything to me? Am I still talking like that? It's not like that. Everyone isn't doing anything to you because they don't hate you. It doesn't mean that they actually don't care whether I exist or not. <laughs> Nobody cares about me. Hey, listen, woman. Woman, do you know who I am? Uh, maybe what scares me con most isn't violence or being hated. It's that when nobody's... Yeah, maybe it's when nobody is interested in her at all. I see. So that's why Mikan has been trying to avoid that, no matter what. I can't believe I finally realised that. What's wrong with me? Hey Mikan, of course everyone cares about you. Of course... Oh, well that's because you're uniquely you. Stop looking for people... Uh, stop looking at people's faces all the time. And try looking at yourself more. Try to step back and pay more attention to your surroundings and to yourself. Because you're just like everyone else, you're our friend. Friend? Me? And everyone else? Is that even possible? That's what I believe. You don't believe me? Yes! No, of course I do. Thank you very much. I want to believe in you. Because you are the person who has forgiven me. Ah. Ah. Ah, why is she adorable? Why is she so adorable? I know it's difficult to change all at once, but I really want her to change little by little. That's what I felt. I looked at Mikan's smile. I can feel a strong bond between Mikan and myself. If possible, I want to watch her over. Just I want to watch over her just a little longer, even after we leave this island, because it's not Mikan's fault after all. Ah. Ah, I feel. I, this woman made me feel for her. She forced me to care. 
Silent massage. You can pat on the back for that. I'm, I'm sorry. You obtained a present. Mekon undergarments. I'm, I'm sorry. Why have I received underwear? After enjoy an enjoyable conversation where she took off her underwear and gave it to me. What? I. Why did I? Okay, we're just going. We're just gonna go about our business. I'm not going to question. We're just gonna. We just. We're just gonna. I don't. I don't know what to make of that. Hi, Ibuki. You alright? Let's let's hang out. Let's hang out, Ibooks. Ibalks. Where the fuck are you? Oh, there you are. Oh. I Crap! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. This is going nowhere. Seriously though, like, why did I get her underwear? Is that a thing in this game where if you max out a girl's on I get max, I max out a girl's underwear? If you max out a girl's S link, you just get that. Is that a thing in this game? Okay. I mean, when you when you completed someone's S link in Danganronpa One, you just went to their room and chatted for a bit. But they've upped the game a little. They've upped their game. Okay, now about them headphones. What the fuck is Hello Psycho Pop? Good job! Why does Hajime want to know what Ibuki wants? Meow. Jeez, this is bad. I might end up falling in love with you. Hajime! Ah, yes, yes. What? Meow. Why does she say meow though? Why does she meow though? Jeez, hurry, hurry up and choose me. Uh, what? Hey, hey! Um. Were you in ever any school clubs? Uh, school clubs? I can't say for sure because of what happened to our memories, but I probably wasn't in any clubs. <laughs> That's a major bingo. What is? Well, isn't it obvious? You should be part of a Buki's music club from now on. For a while, everyone thought music clubs were outdated because the rock and roll boom was dying off. That's totally it. But now, music clubs are super, were super popular with boys for some reason. We should jump on a bandwagon too. But I'm not really into music. <laughs> no problem. You can just pretend that you're playing an instrument while a music track plays in the background. That's not something the ultimate musician should say. But even if I'm pretending, I've never held a musical instrument before. <laughs> Everyone starts at some point. As long as you feel the love, there's no problem. What do I, you know, what do I have to do if I don't really feel the love? It's okay, jamming out is so much fun. It'll be popular with the ladies. Chicks go <laughs> chicks go out with guys who pretend to be musicians all the time. That I think that's a direct reference. That's a direct reference to Leon's S Link in the first game. Hajime! By the way, Ibuki thinks guys who don't like bands are narcissists. <laughs> so she doesn't like them. That isn't something the other musician should say either. Meow. Yep, yep. Now choose the music instrument you want to use. Guitar! I think she- yeah, okay. Uh, Abuki has dibs on a guitar, so you can't use that. Looks like I'm roped into her scheme. I guess I really have to choose something. Uh, I've never played any tanks of instrument before. So it doesn't really matter. Ah, drums. Yeah, I guess the drums. Good job. That's awesome. Alright, it's decided. Drums are great because you can just hit them to the beat. You don't even need to know how to read music. <laughs> As long as you can move your arms and legs independently of each other, even a novice can play them real easy. Every drummer in the world would hate you for saying that. I see, I see. 
Now that we've decided on the instrument, let's start with learning how to use a loudspeaker. Hold on a second. Why would you need a loudspeaker? Huh? What are you saying? It's a must-have item for live performances. <laughs> it doesn't mean you just hold it and scream into it. If you don't put your soul into it, the loudspeaker won't respond to you. <laughs> put your soul into it. Shout. Shout. I was forced to do some weird training that didn't make any sense to me at all. I didn't really understand Ibuki to begin with, but with this, I don't understand her even more. Okay. Alright, Ibuks. I parted ways with Ibuki and went back to my room feeling exhausted. Ah, yeah, sleepy time. Sleepy time. I still got three Monokuma bears to find. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! Emergency! Emergency! Students, head over to Jabberwock Park as fast as you can! Come on, hurry up! Whoever gets there first, I'll treat you to my special made curry rice tomorrow night! Come on, hurry the F up! Okay, alright, he's, he's, turned, he's turned up a notch. Wait, who would actually fall for that? I mean, I can think of at least one person who would fall for that, because it's food. There's no way I can ignore it. Jabberwock Park again, huh? Hey, love, what up? I'm so such a slow poke. I'll head over to the park right away. But, I'm not being sound on purpose. I tried to leave my cottage as soon as I heard the announcement. I tripped again. <laughs> I must get a lot of hate for making excuses like this. People probably thinking, if you have time for that, then hurry up. That girl, she tripped again. She's seriously so pitiful. Alright. Anyone around here? New. Oh, hello. Damn it! I'd have to listen to her announcement. If only I didn't listen to it, I wouldn't have to respond to annoying summons. That's impossible. Those speakers are set up throughout the entire island, you know? Not only that, it seems like I wasn't paying attention and won't work on Monokuma. Hey. hey, why are you scaring me? Damn it. Ah, damn it. I don't wanna. I don't wanna go. Alright. I should probably up the these, these speed of the reticule in this game because that turning is a bit slow. Okay. God. I mm. I meant to hit circle. I'm in the head circle and I hit X, god damn. Okay, what's that? What's that? Yahoo! Called it. And the first one hit a cow is all mine. <laughs> she turned into the bait. Indeed, I wonder what kind of car you fell for it too. Really? <laughs> really, Sonia? Okay. Hey, right. hey. What's the scientific term for when you get hungry after you hear the word curry? What are you saying? Yeah, I think it's hungry. I think it's hungry. <laughs> you guys are fucking stupid. Don't get worked up over something so idiotic. Bastard. Hey, where the hell is Monokuma? Get out of here. Thank you for waiting. Okie dokie. Thanks for waiting. Thanks for the miracle of waiting. Hey Monokuma, I was the first one here. That means I get dibs on the curry. What are you gonna do? No need to rush, no need to rush. I'll probably treat you to my special well properly, treat you to my special made Monokuma curry tomorrow night. Monokuma curry? 
you can see me this is guy made from unknown meat, wilted vegetables and mysterious brand of rice. Hey. I can't imagine anything delicious based on those ingredients. <laughs> no worries, it takes skill to make curry nasty. Good instincts. Yeah, it's truly a nice line, but it's meaningless. Now Monokuma, let us hear what, you, what your business is. However, you should know, I, the Supreme Overlord, have very little time to spare, understand? Go by four dark devas of destruction! I, I have I have to take it away so we can get the fourth one in there. That hidden fourth one. If it's something foolish, know that I will feed your remains to these beasts. Ba -ba? Huh? Huh? You haven't noticed yet? The reason I summoned you guys. If you look closely at this park, you should be able to notice. Huh? Wait, is that shit over there, innit? Ah, fine, I'll talk to everyone. I mean, he's one of whom is up to something. What has he planned this time? Could it be? Maybe, maybe. Mm, looks like a television like object over there. I wonder what it is. What's going on? Okay, what's he planning to make us do this time? Huh? Curry, huh? It must be a demon using the scent of curry to cause a chain reaction. People will feel like they have no choice but to eat the curry. How terrifying. Hey, hey! I agree with that. What's the scientific term for that? Jeez. Seriously, who the fuck cares? This is lame. <laughs> I see, you're certainly prepared for an intriguing tribute. I should give you a pass on becoming food. What does that mean? Does this guy actually know? All right. I might be pushy, but that curry is going to be mine. He's very pushy. Well, can kind I of do it? Yeah, well, can kind I of do anything for food? <laughs> he has a nose like a dog. She might even run around in circles three times and bark. All right. Man. Just the name Monokuma Curry makes my appetite drop to zero. In fact, I don't know. I'd, I'd, I'd like to see what that is. What are they, Maso Akane? Her attitude is basically, if I can eat it, it's good enough. Always fucking summoning us. Seriously, what is it this time? You see, it's less charming when you swear all the time. Like when Mondo did it, it was fun. When you do it, it's just irritating. Cause you're irritating. Oh my my! What the heck is that? There's a TV over there. Is that the curry? Curry flavored TV? Really? Um. What kind of curry is it gonna be? Yeah, the seal curry, stella, sea lion. What, what type of cu what type of curry do you eat, madam? Also, hang on. What did she? Yeah, TV flavor curry. Oh, okay, okay, TV flavor curry. I was right. All right, I thought I misread that. What is this? Uh, it's an arcade machine. Correct. That's correct. Thank you for waiting. So I would like the long-awaited recreation time to begin. I'm sorry. What re recreation time? You called us out. Duncan Rapper Two, Twilight Syndrome. Forbidden Urban Legend. What the fuck is that title? Now tell me. You're going to tell us to play this game. <laughs> Okay, she's happy. Hey, what's the game? What games are on this? She's totally into it. She's breathing really fast. Hmm. I've only prepared one game, but it's truly a gem. Yeah. After all, it's a game that I personally created. Huh? You did? Then. Yeah, it's not something I could possibly look forward to playing. What the hell? No, no, don't compare it to those amateur fan service games. Ching. You know that famous game that everybody's been waiting for a sequel to? Well, I made a brand new game instead. People hate when you do that. People, ha people hate when people do that. Ta da! The name of the game is Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. What the heck? That's pretty lame. I want to play games about riddle solving professors or collecting cute monsters. So, Pokemon or Professor Layton? Stupid! Don't say such silly things. What if we get weighed down by all the quarters? Twilight Syndrome is an adventure game series, the first one released in 1996. It's about a group of high school girls who go to Warner in order to verify numbers, numerous urban legends. Pay controls a character like a side scroller. And then Chris, you, you can bugger off, sir. And I don't even know what generation of game that old is. With your face, I find that hard to believe. But adventure games are boring and tedious to play, right? And disadventure games. Besides, there's a lot of reasons to make one. No, no. You know, like 
budgetary reasons. Okay, all right, all right. Man, I was a big fan of those series. Of that, yeah, I was a big fan of the series. I don't know why, but I feel like you've totally tainted the series. What are you saying? <laughs> Shouldn't you be tainting your face with tears and of gratitude? I cast the spotlight on a neglected title. And what's the point of this game? Hmm? I mean, it's not going us to play it to enjoy it, right? Well, you certainly know it's a good point or a good part. That's right. This game is going to be your next motive. The motive you need to kill people. Okay. After all, I'm going to get bored if the next Blacken doesn't show up soon. Could it be? This game is the motive. Actually, in truth, the game's theme is a missing link. You know, it's a recurring theme of mysteries, right? Kind of like a hidden connection. What does that mean? Here. If you're interested, try playing it. Okay. Hey. You can't. You gotta say no. It's a trap. Hey. Hey. If that's the motive, wouldn't it be okay if we just don't play it? <laughs> that's absolutely right. You're quite the genius. I see. That never occurred to me. Are you sure but about this? are you sure you want to do that? Hey. Um. Then the motive means you're going to be prepared. You know. Humans who are prepared, and humans that aren't. I don't have to tell you which is strong and which is weak, right? You. What do you mean? <laughs> For example, if someone secretly played it, that person might come and kill you. Watch out! In that context, a preemptive strike, that's truly fatal. Hey, hey. What do you mean? <laughs> if you guys are all enemies, you know, is it really alright for your enemy to have an advantage? If you're gonna just ignore it, then do whatever you like. If you're gonna be fully aware of the situation. Bye bye. Bye bye. What the heck? This is bad. Hey, what should we do? But even if you ask me, there's no way I'll know. Anyway. It'd be dangerous if it'd be dangerous to carry touch this game. There's no mistake in that. You are right. You're right. It might be better if if we wait and see how this plays out. But it wouldn't be bad if someone secretly played it or played the game while we're waiting. Whoever gets the motive would become the hunter, and the rest also be the prey. Oh, I messed up way to think. What are you saying? But it's true. <laughs> yeah, it's your loss if you end up dying. All we need to do is kill if we want to win. If he, I, I swear, he's going to survive this. I know it. I don't want to end up like Miyaki and Terra Terra. After Fuyoku spat those words, we watch him turn and walk away. What? But Fuyoku makes a good point. Huh? You two? What are you saying? Do you really want to kill someone that badly? Cause, cause it's not like that. I mean... How can you be? How can you be cautious if you don't even know what the motive? Hmm. That that might be true, but nope. Yeah, it doesn't matter, huh? Motive or otherwise, it doesn't matter. I won't let another kid happen. Killing. I'll never allow it. Peak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Yeah. Huh? So we're at that time, huh? Is that if we just break for today? Hmm. I'll try to think of about it tonight more carefully. The correct thing for me to do. But, but regardless, I'll, I'll never kill anyone. I mean, it's impossible. Um, me too. That's definitely impossible. For now. Then, we should turn in for the day. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Burdened by uneasy thoughts, we all went back to our respective cottages. But still. That was her unexpected. I can't believe she actually said something like that so forcefully. I will never, ever let another killing happen. She's probably dealing with all this in her own way, but... Ah, I feel sleepy. I should head back to. I can't read her at all. A motive to kill someone, huh? Is doing nothing at all correct? Or is this trying to stop? Uh, or is trying to stop it from happening? Or being aware of the danger, correct? There's no way I understand something like that. In this messed up world, there's no way I can know what's right. That's all, 
from Monaco.